My name is Alex Schlesinger, and I'm a rising junior in YU, majoring in computer science, planning on doing the four-year distributed systems track. And this summer, I am interning at Nomura Securities. It's an international investment bank, uh, primarily based in Japan, but uh, there's an office in the New York City as well, around 50th Street. And on the side, I'm also doing a program called Software Product Sprint with Google. It was an invite-only program that I did in the spring, and due to some disruption due to COVID-19, uh, we were invited back to participate again. So I'm doing that this summer. Uh, so I'll talk about both of those briefly. So Namura, um, I've been working on some interesting projects. My team is called the Instrument Master Team within Data Services which is within the larger organization of global markets technology. Uh, they deal with financial instrument reference data. Um, so a, a bunch of data regarding, you could look up any stock or bond or anything like that, and it'll give you a bunch of information about it. So um, the team has this internal website where you could look any of those up. Uh, they also format the data and present it in a way such that uh, it can then be passed along to some of the, the other internal groups for bookkeeping, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we get the data from Bloomberg and from Reuters, um, you know, the common data, financial uh, market data feeds that most firms get their information from. Um, and I worked on two projects. My first project was involved in the continuous integration aspect of uh, deploying our application to our company's cloud. So. Uh, it was my first exposure to a lot of the cloud technologies that I'm sure I'll become more familiar with as I continue in the distributed systems track, but uh, I haven't got into those yet. I've only taken the uh, general intro data structures, algorithms, design and analysis, uh, you know, comp org operating systems, and web development, which I took as an elective. Um, and my role in this group was to, um, essentially, there's something called Ansible, which uh, you can write scripts in to uh, configure the different machines that you're deploying your application to. Um, and I was involved in structuring these scripts in a way such that we'll be able to check to make sure that all the applications are configured and running properly um, on all the different machines that we're running our applications to. And if one of them isn't running properly, so we want to roll back to the previous version of the application across all the different machines. So I was tasked with finding a way to get the different machines to essentially speak to each other, uh, to be able to know when one of them is not functioning properly uh, so that we can roll back across all of the different machines. So that was my first project and it was really interesting and a lot of new exposure to new technologies. Um, really had nothing to do with anything that I have learned in the past yet. Um, again, I'm sure I'll get there, but uh, so that was some great exposure. And then my second project was more of a typical software engineering project, and it was based in Java, which of course um, I used my skills that I've learned throughout my time in computer science at YU so far. Um, and without those skills, I wouldn't have been able to do this project at all. It required utilizing data structures wisely uh, to be able to store data in, in the appropriate format. Um, and my project was essentially when some information once in a while will be wrong um, on our internal website. Let's say you look up a certain stock and there's reference data that is outdated, or let's say it was a bond and let's say the bond has an issue date. But since we got that data from Bloomberg, it was reissued, so now it's outdated. So someone internally will request to update that data from operations, let's say. and we need to keep track for auditing purposes, exactly who made what update, right? Who requested the update? Why did they request it? When did they request it? Who processed it? When it was processed? Was that process, was it completed? Was it not? Was it rejected, uh, et cetera? And we have an internal ticketing system that we use to keep track of all that. So uh, we wanted to make sure that we have a clear log of all of these update requests in our ticketing system automatically without having to make someone manually put in a ticket every time someone makes an update request. So I used uh, the Spring framework and I connected to our ticketing systems uh, API and I integrated with that API and um, essentially created a program that will query our database with all of the information about this, uh, about these instrument update requests, and it'll create a ticket for each one on a scheduler of, let's say, every day, uh, so that at the end of the month, we can look back into our ticketing system and review all of it, um, and it won't require any human interaction intervention. So 
that was pretty cool exposure to uh, new APIs. These are actually some things that I touched on in that web development course that I took with uh, Dr. Kelly, even though it was, uh, it was an optional course and I just decided to, it wasn't even required to be a CS major, but I decided to take it because I thought there would be skills that would be beneficial. And there ended up being that throughout my Google program, which I'll explain in a minute, and this uh, project, it was crucial. So that was great um, exposure. And now I'll talk a little bit about the Google program. The, that program was uh, designed in a way that they take students from different universities, put us on a team, and take a Google software engineer, put them as our project advisor, and together uh, the first few weeks are learning web development skills, followed by us building a web application of our choice um, and the software engineer from Google guiding us along the way, giving us tips and advice and um, helping us. In the beginning, he was reviewing our code. Towards the end, we were reviewing each other's code. Um, and that was some great exposure to web technologies. It was mostly using vanilla HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, and we used Java servlets on the back end. So again, obviously uh, that Java knowledge from YU and um, the data structures, things like that came in handy. Um, Usually we, you would use some sort of framework like Spring, for example, but they wanted us to really learn the core skills and that's why we were using just regular Java servlets. Um, and it was really great. We met in the spring, I built an application to help software engineers mock interview each other for interviews. So maybe something that you guys can all use eventually. Um, it's called Matchmocker, matchmocker.com. Uh, and then in the summer, we worked on a project to connect remote volunteers with organizations or even individuals that needed some help. Let's say, you know, someone was working remotely from home and they need someone to read a book to their child or something like that for an hour to keep busy. So a remote volunteer can sign up and uh, be able to do that. We figured that it was a time where people want opportunities to help and give back, but they're stuck in their homes and this gives them a good opportunity to do that. So there I became familiar, um, very familiar with GitHub, um, where we used it for in school, we learned the basics in order to be able to submit our homeworks. But uh, here I really learned how to collaborate with others using GitHub to be able to uh, review other people's code to deal with merge conflicts, right, when two people are working on the same file, and something, you know, you, you overwrite something, and then they overwrite something else, and, and it con con it conflicts. So um, you have to be able to figure that out, um, all those types of things. So that was really great exposure to what it's like to build software on a team. Um, and then I think that complemented with my summer experience at Nomura, where I really learned what it's like to build enterprise software and see how that scales and how you deploy that to the cloud and um, all of the issues also that come along with building such large applications um, gave me some great exposure to, to the industry. And um, it was definitely a great way for me to improve my personal skills as well. So it's been a great experience.